find two regression equations from the following data. We have x and we have y. So we have uh, uh, five outcomes or five data in x and five in y. And from this, we have to find out the regression equation. So what is our regression equation? I mean, for finding that, we will go for algebraic approach. But what is the fundamental equation? For y on x, what is the equation? And for x on y, what is the equation? See, for y on x, for y on x, our equation is, we say y is dependent on x, right? So y is equal to a plus bx. And what about x on y? For x on y, we say x is dependent on y. So I'll put it here, x on y. In which case, equation is going to be x is equal to a plus b y. x is equal to a plus b y. Okay. So this is the equation, and if you want to develop this further, so what what you will do? You have to find what is summation y, right? You have to find out what is uh, summation y, and that's going to be n into a plus b into summation x. Then we should find out summation x, y, and that should be a into summation x plus b into summation x square. Then for x on y, we need summation x, and that should be n into a plus b into summation y. Okay. Then we need summation x y and that's going to be a into summation y plus b into summation y square it means we need all these data that is we have to find out uh, summation y summation x summation x y then summation x square summation y square all these data have to be derived only then we'll be able to proceed further so what we'll do, let's go back to our table. Let's go back to our table and let's uh, find all these values. Okay. So we have to find summation of x and summation of y. Okay. So let me uh, move this a bit so I can have my summation x and y. Let me just move them. Yeah. I'll keep them somewhere here. Okay, so this should be okay now. So let me do the totaling of this x and that is going to be called as summation of x. Let me choose a, a different color. So if I total this, this is going to be summation x and this works out to 30. And if I total this, this is going to be summation y and this is going to be 40. Then we need summation of x square and summation of y square then x y right so let's go ahead and find out what is x square then let us also find out what is y square x square is 6 square 36 2 square 4 10 square 100 4 square 16 8 square 64 and if i total this this is going to be called as summation x square and it works out to 220 okay then we have to find out a summation of uh, y square that is 9 square is going to be 81 11 square is 121 5 square 25 8 square 64 and 7 square 49 and if i total that that's going to be summation y square and that is 340 that is 340 okay then we need summation x y then we need summation x y so 6 into 9 okay we get uh, 54 x and y 6 into 9 we get 54 then 2 into 11 how much we get 22 10 into 5 50 8 into 4 32 and 7 into 8 56 okay so this makes summation x y what is the summation x y we get 214 so this is summation x y 214 so by now 
we have all values in place we have all values in place so if we can take them to the respective equations we'll be able to solve okay so now let's first uh, focus on these two equation we'll focus on these two equation because that will help us to find uh, one value okay so to start with we need summation y let me pick up a different color we need summation y okay and how much it is it is 40 then we need n what is n number of observations and the number of observations happens to be 5 a we don't know we have to 5 b don't know we have to find and summation x we know it is 30 okay then we have summation x y and that is 214 214 a we don't know but summation x we know it is 30 then summation x square we have it here it is 220 okay it is 220 so now what we'll do let's uh, fit all this and we'll see how to go further okay so i'm going to write that equation i mean i'm going to write this equation what we had is summation y 40 is equal to 5a okay plus 30b so this is one of our equation i'll call it as equation one then we had summation x y that is 214 and that is equal to 30 a that is equal to 30 a plus 220 b plus 220 b and i'll call this as equation two now we have to proceed further we have to do some plus or minus and we should proceed further so what we'll do we'll multiply this equation 1 okay we'll multiply this equation 1 with 60 so if we do that we get a new equation if we do that we'll get a new equation and let's see what we are going to get 40 into 6 is going to be 240 and that's going to be equal to 5 into 6 is 30 so 30 a plus 30 into 6 is 180 180 we'll call it as b okay 180 b so now we got a new equation we call it as 3 so now equation 2 and 3 can be interlinked to take it further so what i'm going to do is what i'll do is i'll subtract equation 3 from 2 i'll subtract equation 3 from 2 let me put it somewhere here yeah so my calculation is going to be simple so what will happen if i subtract equation 3 from 2 that is 214 minus 240 what i'm going to get is minus 26 and here 30 minus 30 it means they are going to get cancelled right and finally here i have 220 minus 180 220 minus 180 and what is it we are going to get 40 B okay and that's going to be a positive number it's going to be 40 B so what what we'll get is B is equal to minus 26 by 40 so we'll get B is equal to minus 0 0.65 this is very critical information for us because once we find one value we'll be able to find out the other one that is we have b is equal to minus 0.65 so what we can do is we can substitute b in equation 1 we can substitute b in equation 1 and this is our equation 1 right equation 1 was 45a plus 30b so let's see what happens equation is 40 is equal to 5a plus 30b and we know b is equal to minus 0.65 so if we cancel this we get 40 is equal to 5a 13 to 0.65 minus will give you minus 19.5 minus 19.5 so 40 you shift this minus 19.5 to the left hand side you get 40 plus 19 59.50 is going to be equal to 5a let me shift 5 to the left hand side so i get 59.50 divided by 5 is going to be equal to a 
okay and we get a is equal to 11.90 we get a is equal to 11.90 so now we have both a and b and now we can form that equation we can form the equation for uh, for y on x what is the equation for y on x y on x is y is equal to a plus bx and we know a is equal to 11.90 a is equal to 11.90 plus and we know b is minus so minus 0.65x so this is the this is the equation for y on x that is the regression equation for y on x okay now similarly let's find the regular regression equation for x on y okay let me do that let me select a different color yeah regression equation for x on y and what is the basic equation we know basic equation x is equal to a plus b y and we said this should be expanded that is summation x is equal to n into a plus b into summation y then summation x y is equal to a into summation y plus b into summation y square so now let us bring all those values what was summation x we know summation x was 30 i'm not going back we know it was 30 n we know the number of observation that was 5a and b we don't know but we know summation y summation y had been 40 okay and since already we have covered one two three equations i'll call this as equation number four then summation x y we know it is 214 is equal to n not n we have a into summation y a we don't know but we know summation y is equal to 40 so 40 a plus b into summation y square summation y square is 340 okay so b into 340 we'll call this as equation 5 now if you want to do the algebraic calculation what you have to do is you have to multiply equation 4 with 8 okay so you will get a new equation called equation 6 okay so let's see what what we are going to get if you multiply equation 4 with 8 8 threes or 24 so you get 240 is equal to 8 fives or 40 40 a plus b into 40 into 8 that is 320 so i'll call this as equation 6 then what we have to do is we have to subtract 6 from 5 okay subtract equation 6 from 5 and by subtracting let's see what we are going to get by subtracting let's say 214 minus 240 we are going to get uh, minus 26 minus 26 is equal to minus plus 40 minus 40 will get cancelled then 340 minus 320 okay so it's going to be uh, b into 20 okay 340 minus 20 so that's going to be the way it proceeds so what we get is b is equal to minus 26 divided by 20 and we get the value of b as minus 1.30 so we get the value of b as minus 1.30 and this value can be applied in equation number 4 so apply in equation number 4 when you apply this in equation 4 what happens let's see 30 is equal to 5a plus then b is minus 1.3 multiplied by 40 okay so minus 1.3 multiplied by 40 you get minus 52 so it's going to be 30 is equal to 5a minus 52 so 30 plus 52 82 is equal to 5a and we get 82 by 5 a is equal to 16.4 a is equal to 16.4 so we have a and b now and we can have this equation x on y x is equal to 
16.4 okay that is a plus b y and we cannot have plus b because b is minus so 16.4 minus 1.30 y so this is the x on y regression equation